That concludes our report on the events surrounding the alien wreckage. Then they were dead this whole time. The Council of Humanity needs time to formulate a plan. Until then, this information must be kept confidential. Speak of it to no one. Of course. Your next mission is to gather additional intel on the individual known as Pascal. You mean that freaky machine we ran into? This order comes directly from the Council. Knowledge of such unique individuals is essential for the success of future missions. Understood. Very well. Is something wrong? No? Good then. Carry on with your mission. Okay, she's not telling us very much. Head to Pascal's village via an access point. So we came back here just for that. I thought maybe we'd have a bit more of a, a conversation. I mean, surely she could have just told us this info. I'll start checking some of these emails that I got as well while I'm here. Is this person still going to be rude? Do you believe? I mean, do you even know who this war is for at this point? Uh, never mind. I've said too much. Yeah, I mean, I'm really curious about the humans on the moon and what their whole deal is. I do want to see them. Androids and machines making peace. I won't stand for it. Okay, 9S is, is just, yeah, it's getting a bit funky. I hate those miserable piles of bolts until my last breath. And if any of them still resent us, even if it's just a few, that's enough reason to keep fighting. Info dump incoming. Did you know that you can change clothes at transport terminals? Wait, you did? Huh. So I guess you don't mind taking off your clothes outside. Do androids? I mean, I for androids, I don't know how stylistic their clothes are versus. I mean, it's purely for they don't pra pra they don't need it for any practical reason, right? It's not like it's armor. Here's a piece of friendly advice: we've always got spare body materials stored at transport terminals. The materials are, distribu are distributed to different camps from the bunker and replenished by the resistance. Then your personal data is transferred to a new body in a distant location, allowing you to travel there in instant there in instantly. Yes? What do you need? Is this our one? I'm busy trying to analyze the alien signal, but I'm not really getting anywhere. I have an almost insatiable interest in Earth, even though I'd never go there myself. I'm an operator, you see. I'm more comfortable examining data in a setting such as this. Okay, so I think our specific operator should be here as well. Unlike you, when we operators get our new bodies, our memories aren't reset. Meaning we remember the things you no longer can. That's pretty cool. So I didn't chat to the operators last time, so I thought we'd have a little chat with them as well. Get to know the whole squad. Yes. Just want to see if any of them's labeled differently. Operator, 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 oper there you go, operator 6O. Hey, welcome back. So, um, can you show me the new data you brought? Hmm. Okay, that's all she's got. She seemed very chatty when we were on the, like, the, the call thing, but not anymore. Okay. Um. Man, the commander sure is a slave driver, huh? <laughs> yeah. And now we have to go back to the city ruins. Commander cracking the whip. Why don't we rest a little bit, 2B? It's been a while. I'll rest if I feel like it. There's an item shop in here? Okay. Nothing I need from this shop. Hmm, what are we going to do? It still hasn't turned up. What's that? You want to know what's happening? Apparently, one of the units on Earth lost a pod in the flooded city. Ah, okay. They tried to follow the distress signal, but they can't find the thing. How do you lose a pod? It staggers the imagination. Anyway, if you happen to find it, will you take care of it? The poor thing's all alone. Way ahead of you. S is little room. So there's they're, they're all item shops, but I think they all sell the same thing. 
That's interesting, the fact that everyone has an item shop in their room. 9S, you wish I was sleeping in your bed. So let's, let's have a look at the inbox as well before I finish off. Uh, Commander lost equipment. There was something I forgot to mention prior to your sortie. According to our analysis team, the equipment that was lost when breaking into the abandoned factory is still there. I've marked its estimated location, so be sure to pick it up next time you're in the area. Okay, that's something I've got to jot down. I don't remember seeing it as like a patch on the on the map. Thousands of years have passed since we humans were driven to the moon, and while the war remains deadlocked, we know that our continued safety is only possible thanks to your valiant efforts on the ground. We ask that you continue giving your all to the mission of recapturing Earth from the scourge of the machines. Glory to mankind. 2B, have you heard of Jupiter fortune telling? It's all the girls over in R&D have been talking about lately. They say you can examine the colour and shape of Jupiter's great red spot to learn about what kind of luck you'll have with health, work and love. Sounds amazing, right? I'll try it and let, <laughs> and let you know what I find out. Yeah, she seems like really bubbly and chatty and very like the most human like out of all of them i would say that we've met so far so yeah here she is again operator 60 to be remember that message i sent you about jupiter fortune telling i had the girls in r&d do it for me and i got the worst readings possible for health work and love but that's when i realized something that stuff is a bunch of occult crap i mean how are you supposed to figure out your destiny by observing another by observing another planet ridiculous I'll forge my destiny all on my own. That's the truest desire of every Yorha woman anyway, right? Haha. <laughs> it's funny, it's like, I don't know what kind of rapport, like, 2B just seems like she doesn't really give a shit about any of this, but she's still pressing on and trying to communicate with her and stuff anyway. It's kind of funny. Okay, so 6-0 again. Your new mission is to capture renegade Yorha members. Not only did these members go AWOL, but we have confirmed that they engage in unlawful conduct, including the theft of resistance resources. They are to be taken into custody as soon as possible. 6-0. Note that this is a direct order from the commander. Forwarding it is forbidden. Jackass. Hey, thanks to you, I was able to create medicine using that research you helped me with. You should try it out if you find yourself with some spare time on your hands later. So we need to meet Jackass again. Uh, hey, sorry to bring this up out of the blue. But I've got a fish I want to recommend to Yorha units. Uh, or to be more specific, I want you to eat it so I can study how its oil affects a Yorha unit. You know, science. Anywho, stop by if you get bored, it's my treat. So yes, we'll definitely be seeing Jackass again. And Pascal. So from Pascal, interesting. How the hell did Pascal get my email address? I didn't know it worked like that. So, Pascal, my friend. It feels as if we haven't spoken in quite some time. As it turns out, many stores in our village recently acquired a number of new items, and I wanted to be sure that everyone from Yorha was aware of this. I would also be delighted if you would commit to memory that there are some out there who, despite being machine life forms, are willing to open their hearts and, sh and share such valuable information. Yours in friendship, Pascal. Pascal is so polite and friendly, man. I guess, I mean, I definitely need to find out if Pascal is really on our side like some kind of spy or some shit. Man, this job can be pretty rough sometimes, huh? We don't get to choose our assignments, and you should work on keeping your opinions in check. <laughs> your ha aren't allowed to be emotional, remember? I think some of us are better at that than others. <laughs> Speaking of emotion, those Adam and Eve units sure seemed less than logical. Mm. I'm heading to the transporter. Fine. <laughs> okay. 8B. So yeah, oh wait. Well, because I'm in the bunker, I can't see the map anyway. I just want to see what this... Is there another terminal here that I didn't activate or something? Say, you're the ones who got the peace offer from the machines, right? I don't get it. I mean, why now? If we make peace, does that mean I won't have to fly anymore? Well, not as much as you do now, at least. Ah, there's a quest here. Okay. 2B? 
Is that you? Yes, but... Thank goodness. My name is 16D. My instructor, 11B, was one of your squad mates in the assault on the abandoned factory. I don't suppose she... She was shot down during the battle. I... I see. What a shame. She was the closest thing I had to a mentor. She was so strong and admirable. What happened to her body? I don't know. I know it isn't my place to be asking you this. But, well, if you happen to run across anything of hers, would you mind bringing it back to me? It's not a priority or anything, just if you have the time. Sure. I'll keep an eye out. Thank you. Okay, well that was good to know. Pod, do we have any information about 11B's black box? Negative. 11B's black box has yet to be recovered. She was shot down near the abandoned factory, right? 11B's memento. Okay, this is actually the first one on my list. It's a, it's a really low level one. So I think maybe before I head to Pascal, I'll go to the abandoned factory because now I have two reasons to be there. So for this side quest and also to retrieve my old shit. So that's probably what I'll be doing at the start of the next session. So let me take stock again of what the situation is. Um, yeah, so we have four ongoing quests. So probably at the start of the next session, I'll head to the abandoned place if I can go there first. And then deal with the betrayers and then visit Jackass and stuff as well. So plenty to do. I will see you guys in the next session. Thanks for watching. Take care. What's up everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to this commentary playthrough of Nier Automata. I had to give the game a miss for a few days because there was some important stuff that came up on the channel. Uh, namely, the Final Fantasy VII remake demo that came out, which took up a fair bit of my time to record and edit and upload and all that stuff. Then I got busy with the results of the giant uh, Final Fantasy survey they did in Japan, which I found really interesting. Um, P-Birdman mod, all that kind of stuff, so it's been a bit of a busy time. Um, I've taken a few days off the game, but I'm ready to return, and we had some quests to do. Okay, so I think what I wanted to do first was continue the story a little bit, and then continue on with maybe these. I think I wanted to head back to, um, where was it? Terrorizing Resistance Camp, that wasn't it. Yeah, okay, so the Abandoned Factory, so that's what I was going to do next. So I want to go to, um, where's the thingy one? the actual main story quest right now. Okay, well, I know that my main quest is to is to head to the machine village to investigate um, Pascal a little bit more. So that's what we're going to be doing. And I think I could just fast travel from here anyway. I forgot about that. This is a new angle. Whoa. That was shaping up to be a really cool little different look okay transport so yeah these guys are being terrorized so I'm not gonna do that quite yet let's go to Pascal's village and we'll see from there and then we'll head to the abandoned factory for 11 for 11 B's memento which is apparently one of the the better more important quests that I should be doing because I spent the last session doing a fair few side quests, I wanted to just kick things off with a little more story. Operator 60 to 2B. Be aware that the following transmission is classified privilege level 5. A group of Yorha fighters deployed to the city ruins have deserted. We need you to take care of them immediately. But don't get yourself hurt, alright? Okay. Yorha members deserting? And attacking the resistance, no less? <sighs> Proposal. Rogue Yorha units should be captured and detained in order to keep collateral damage at a minimum. Detained? Easy for you to say. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk to Pascal first, and then we'll have a look at this situation. Um... Oh, it's 9S and 2B, yes? Those machines cost quite the ruckus, don't you think? We need to talk. Of course. I'll help however I can. Okay, let's begin. Ask about Pascal's pacifism. And this awesome theme was kicked in again. It's one of my favorites. 
Pascal, why did you choose not to fight? We have been alive for hundreds of years. We lost countless friends, time and time again. But losing friends isn't what scares me. What scares me is the fact that I've grown used to seeing those I care about die all around me. That's why I decided I'd had enough. Okay. Do you know anything about the aliens? The aliens? You mean the ones who created us? I'm sorry, there's not much I can tell you. We've been fighting for centuries without a single message from them. I guess you could say that the fact that they never give us orders anymore is also a reason why we quit fighting. Yes, yeah, the history between the aliens and the machines is definitely very interesting. Pascal. To me. Yes, to me? Aside from this village, are there any other machines that are cut off from the network? I suppose that unpleasant songstress you so kindly defeated in the amusement park wasn't part of the network. Mm. You mean that singing thing? Oh, and of course there's the Forest Kingdom, but it... Forest Kingdom? Yes. It's a vast woodland area not far from here. There's a group of machines there attempting to build a nation of sorts. They're quite hostile to outsiders, however. We can't so much as go near the place. Where is it? Northeast of the city ruins. You should be able to reach it by passing through the ruins of the commercial facility. If you go, however, be careful. Things have been rather rough there lately. This forest kingdom sounds like something we should check out. I agree. So, okay, that's the next quest. Cool. I heard a really loud boom. It was scary, but also kind of exciting. Okay, so a little bit of insight into these guys as pacifism and the fact that they've received no orders from their alien creators. Well, we've seen what looks like the demise of the aliens when we met Adam and Eve, so that kind of makes sense. So, as much as I love this track, I think now... Hold on, let me have a look at the map. Um, photographs. Current destination. You're her betrayers. You're her betrayers. You're her betrayers. I mean, is this the abandoned place from last time? I feel like it probably is. But I'm not seeing the 11B's memento thing appearing. Hmm. But I mean, they said that the Yorha betrayers were attacking the resistance camp. And... Unless, where was the resistance camp? Current location. Current destination. Ah, okay, so this is, yeah, this is the area that was sealed off to me before, so I couldn't get to this. But now I should be able to, okay, that's good. That's fine. I think I might have to head for Yorha Betrayers then. Because I am curious about this region, so... I guess... I don't know if I can go here and do the memento thing first. Okay, let me finish off this uh, this jackass one first, actually, because all I have to do, I think, is return to her and just speak to her. I think that's that should be it. So, just something really calming and hypnotic about that song. I think probably the fact that, that it's in a made-up language that you can't understand just helps. Because even though it's like baby voices, it doesn't sound as silly because you can't understand what they're saying. Okay. Did I go to the wrong... Oh, wait, no. There we go. Hello, jackass. Oh, yeah. I still have to give you that stupid fish. So this thing is called a mackerel, and apparently eating it has a horrible effect on androids. It has a horrible effect on me as well. I hate mackerel. Mackerel is one of the reasons why I don't like eating fish in general. Like, in Turkish culture, like especially Turkish people that lived in Britain for like the last 20, 30, 50 years, for some reason they love eating mackerel. 
And yeah, I grew up around mackerel and I absolutely hated it. And that's one of the reasons why I just always had a general distaste for fish and the smell of fish and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, just a little personal anecdote. I'd love to see what it does. So go ahead and chow down. Don't blame me if you die though. <laughs> okay. That doesn't sound good. Ha! I bet someone's here to try out my new combat wonder drug. I've already handed it out to a few folks, and man is it ever popular. One taste and you're hooked for life. And yeah, it sounds bad when I say it like that, but your Yorha buddies don't seem to mind. Sure, there are some side effects, like a horrifying destabilizing effect on one's psyche. But none of that should be a problem for combat focused models like you. Anyway, the first round's on me. Check it out and let me know what you think. Quest reward, E-Drug times 5, 5,000 Gs, 500 experience. Okay. If you want more, go visit the Yulha unit at the oil field in the desert. Okay. She was asking for the recipe, so I'm sure she's cooking up a stash of her own. There we go. Completed that one. And I got myself a mackerel as well. Interesting. <laughs> Fair enough. Um... That's another one done, nice and easy. Disrupts auditory and visual feed for 30 seconds while generating other random effects. Interesting. Enemies drop more money for 60 seconds. Okay, I've got to remember to try and use some of these in battle, but as always, it's just so hectic and everything is all happening at once. The, all I'm thinking about is do I need to heal? Um, can I dodge something like major and can I do damage? So I'll get there. But for now, I haven't been too great with it. Now, um, the new drug was so good, those who partake of it find it hard to put down. Oh, well, it also causes extreme mental instability. However, if you're curious, Jackass claims it can be obtained by doing to resistant. Okay. Okay. Let me check this again. See if the situation's changed. 11 B's memento. Okay. Definitely confirmed to be there now. So I'll probably head to this one and see if I can get to the memento without triggering this one. I'd like to, to just do this in isolation first. Because I'm looking at the quest list and you're her betrayers, it says level 14 to 25. So I'm slightly on the lower end. It's not a big deal. I can do it, but I'm sure I can do it. But I'd rather just um, I'd rather deal with this kind of more story-ish looking one first, because you're her betrayers is clearly a bit more battle based. I mean, 11 B's one might be too, but on paper, it doesn't seem to be. Okay, that's the right one, right? So yes, people ask me about self-destruct and stuff. I will be doing that, but I just want to like know, because if if I wasn't LPing this game for other people, I wouldn't have known about self-destruct. I wouldn't have really used self-destruct. But obviously, I know what it does because people have told me about it. But like, if I was playing the game in isolation, I wouldn't have known, and I would only really use self-destruct when I feel like it might have been useful. So it definitely will get used before the end of the playthrough because we all want to see what that's about. But in terms of that, I don't want to just do it as a gimmick, like right now, if that makes sense. This thing's just attacking me as soon as I entered the place. It's a bit rude. There we go. Pod's doing pretty well, I've got to say. There was a thing, how could I, yeah. So I've got laser and I've got shield. That's good. But we'll go with laser for now. Okay, back on the field. Right, which way is the memento? It's this way. I'm assuming I can probably only enter in through this side, but let's just see. Right. 
We'll try and go over this bit. Ah, it's this guy again. These two, actually. I won't find them for now. I don't think they're going to attack me. Let's see. I'm curious. Okay, well, they're definitely like they're attacking me. Whoa. Don't seem too bad as long as you keep your distance. Thankfully, they're just slow. There we go. I feel like at least against the bigger and slower enemies, I'm starting to get the hang of it. It's kind of how it was like in Bloodborne as well. Like, the, the slower the enemies are, the easier it is for for newcomers to get used to it. It's always the more small. Uh, like human-like enemies that are more difficult to deal with. So, like, let's say when you when I was fighting um, Adam and Eve, for example, then it definitely felt much more difficult, and I got hit a lot more. Okay, so there's no way in from there. I'm not sure I'd be able to to get to the memento without fighting at least one of the betrayers, trying to detain him. Is there a button to ride them now? I'll have to I'll have to check that one. Let me do the betrayer first and I'll have a look. So I think I have to go up this bridge to do it. Operator 60 to 2B. Come in, 2B. 2B here. The monitoring signal from the new access point has gone silent. I'm sending you the positional data. Please investigate the site as soon as possible. Understood. Investigating communications accepted. Let me just have a look at where that one is. Oh, these guys are coming towards me. Fuck that. Okay, let me just wait up here. Investigating communications. Okay, well, it says it's level 28 supposedly, and it's also a low priority tier quest, so I won't be looking into that one right now. So yeah, this should be the path. It feels like as time goes on, there's not there's not really any non-hostile machines left. So I'm pretty sure that's like a story thing. As time goes on, one's a docile machines are going to start attacking me. More experience points for me, man. The only reason I wasn't attacking them is because they weren't attacking me. Okay. So wait, is this a Yorha Betrayer place? It is, actually. Alright, fine. We're going to have to do battle with at least one of them, it seems. Which is the correct... Yeah, I think I've got to go down this side. Music stopped. Hmm. Something going to kick in, or...? Ah, right, okay. Need to take these guys out so I can warp here. Sorry, peeps. I think they're always level 1, the 
ones over here. Okay, cool. 